Hey, how's it going, my fine sirs? My name is Sir Earl Grey, and welcome to The Solus Project. Now, this game looks really exciting. Essentially, it's survival, but in space. Well, actually, on an alien planet, and I can't wait to get in. As you can see on the bottom right, this game is actually still in early access, so it's constantly being updated. But I, I just want to go in. I actually tested to see everything works, so we're going to head into a new game. And, yeah, just new game on here. Con uh, confirm, yep. And let's head straight in to this new universe. Oh, I'm so excited, sirs. This, I've been wanting to, to, to play this sort of game uh, in a while. Like, Kingdom kind of scratched that itch for survival, but it's a shame that it didn't go on for longer. In the year 2115, scientists identified a rogue Class B star traveling towards Earth. Earth and the solar system would be destroyed. The Prolus ship were launched in 2049, three giant Connolly ships which carry thousands to the safe zone near Pluto. In 2151, the Earth was destroyed. With nowhere to go, our last resources were scrambled, and five scout ships were sent to five distant words. The pioneers, yada yada yada, I couldn't read the rest of that. <laughs> our last chance at survival is known as the Solus Project, which is the name of the game, which is what we are part of, I guess. We are one of those five scout ships. Jesus, this game is loud. Need to decrease the sound just a tad. There you go. 15 years later. Mission TSP-3 arrives at Glie 6143C. Okay, guess this is my ship. Nice. Ah, oh, this is beautiful, sirs. This game looks amazing. It's run on the Unreal Engine 4, I think. That's why it looks so polished. For a green, uh, for um, for an early access game, it looks pretty damn amazing. Ah, oh, sirs, I'd love to go into space. I'd love to. I would love to explore new worlds. But sadly, I don't think it's going to be in our lifetime. But hey, you never know, right? I could be an astronaut. Oh. What is? Whoa! The planet fired at us. Oh, that is not good. Fires in space are not good, sirs. Whoa. Oh, that is amazing. Well, there's not much left of us. Uh, I am male. Yes, I am. Excellent. I guess we were the pod that escaped. Oh, we are dropping from extremely high, sirs. Oh, my God. It's like I'm in Kerbal Jerry, Space Program. Can you hear me? <laughs> Jeremiah, are you here? <laughs> what are the pictures of those dogs doing on the cockpit? <laughs> uh, I think you have more important things to focus on, like the falling altitude going down super, super fast. Oh, God. All our crew is gone. Oh, God. We are... F oh. oh, my God. I know how Jeremiah felt in my crazy Kerbal Space Program in in inventions. Oh my god! We are dropping like a stone. Damn. Well then, it'd be a miracle if we survived that, sirs. Are we alive? Hello, hello? Good! Okay, sirs, so that means it's breathable outside. Okay. Whoa. That is pretty stunning. It's like something out of Interstellar. Cool. Ow. Okay, dude, you could have gone down a bit gently. Okay, well, this seems to be us then. Oh, and there's a Nokia phone on the floor. <laughs> Who would have known after 100 years it would still be alive? Well, they are the most resistant phones. So if I were crashed on an alien planet, I would like a Nokia phone. All right, so we've got to choose uh, da -da -da, what special items did you manage to grab? Nothing? No, why would you choose that? So one that lets you drive 50% faster, one that gives you more air while diving, faster movement, but less protection. More protection against cold, against heat, less hunger, ooh, more sprint, and less fall damage. 
Mm. Like, I'm tempted to go for the sprint one because you always need to move around fast. And I don't know if stuff is going to be chasing me. But in a survival game, hunger seems to be very important. Like, they always say the first things you need to pick up in a survival game, uh, in a survival situation, is water, uh, shelter, and food. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with that. Uh, so, nanobot injections. And we are going to be on normal. Okay. And no, I don't want any of this American garbage. Metric. Imperial units, please. Right, pick up the Nokia. World independent local server node. Oh, it's Wilson! <laughs> nice! Ah, oh, nice Easter egg there. Oh, Jesus, sorry, I didn't hear. Uh, you have two states. Either pick up or combine. Okay. Okay. We've got our life, we've got our core body temperature, we've got our number of calories. Um, we've got our water. Uh, I guess that's how many hours until we need to sleep next. Our outside temperature, humidity, and wind. Right, these are the factors which I must remember to know how to survive. And look at that. Ah, that is amazing, sirs. Falling stars, shooting stars everywhere. Alright, sir, so what have we got? We have a rock, heavy, multi-use. Okay, so... How do I... Ah, oh, RT to pick up. Nice! Okay, so I've got a massive rock in my hand. Excellent. But, uh, what about you? Another heavy rock. And was it... Was it, what, what, what was it to craft? L... Uh, RT to craft. Nice one. Right, can I drop this rock now? There you go. And this is a sharp rock. Excellent, sirs. Progress. And what is this? This is cargo net. Can be quite requires tools. And luckily, I have exactly what I need. Nice, sirs. Cool. Progress. Right, uh, stats, objectives, and sleep. Right. Okay. Yes, that we already know. Right. Okay, so stats. Hypothermia plus 0%. Everything's plus 0%. Survive 0 days. Perfect. Prolus fleet time. Health limit 60... 600 of mat of a, of a thousand. Good. Can't speak today. Inventory limit 12 of 36. Movement. Okay, so it looks like all of these things can be upgraded. And I can get perks as well. Right. And what about... These are my objectives. Okay. And, okay, uh, this is all about sleep, recovers health, uh, affected by climate, uh, yada yada yada. Okay, that's, that's all about sleep. I do, don't want to sleep yet. Cool. All right, what have we got? We have a canteen. Uh, pick you up. And I've got some canned food, which I can craft. Oh, okay, into open canned food. Excellent. And we've got a survival handbook, one of eight. This seems to be important. If you find yourself in a precarious situation, explore your surroundings and scavenge whatever useful items you can before conditions worsen. That's just general life advice, but I will take it. But look at this. Ah, oh, the meteor shower's stopped. Cool, sirs. Oh. I, I shall. Oh, wait, that's four out of eight. I must have missed. In flames. Yes, it is. Um, I need to... Report back to Prolos Command somehow. Yes, you do. Look around and see if anyone or anything S survived. That sounds fair. Uh, but I need to give you a name. But first, let us read these notes on the ground. Two out of eight. There you go. As soon as possible, secure a source of heat, fresh water, and food. There you go. I nearly had it right. Find a place to take shelter. How you deal with your first few hours is crucial for your survival. Okay. Important stuff, sirs. Glad we're reading. Is this page number? That's number three. Good. Okay. That's what we need to read. Stay dry, sleep well, and protect yourself during the storm. During storms. There's freaking storms now. Keeping well rested is vital to increasing your chance of survival. Rain or water can quickly lead to hypothermia during the night. Okay. So don't get rained upon. Fine. Be careful not to get lost. Mark locations which have been to avoid getting trapped due to nightfall, rising tides, and storms. Losing your light source and oh, oh my god sirs, I feel like Robinson Crusoe and I haven't even been here for like five minutes. Once you've secured your environment, find a way to communicate with the outside world. Gather parts and build an impromptu transmitter. Never give up hope that you will be rescued no matter how dire 
your situation is. You see, sirs, getting rescued is fine and all, but if my, like, if my, if my ships get shot down like that, because that wasn't just some random event, that was someone it intentionally shooting me down. And look at that, well, that's the rest of our ship, but I'll follow the vector for now. Oh, another canteen. Thank you. Pick that up. Thank you very much. This is page seven. Oh, six. Crafting a torch. Uh, create a makeshift cutting tool using rocks. B, cut off organic material, wrap around some sort of handle, apply oil, if available, and light the fire. Right, okay. This looks like a torch. A pipe. Okay, pick that up. Excellent. Uh, inventory was that. Okay. Nicely done, Gray. Uh, more canned food. Oh! <laughs> I poked it with the pipe. Excellent. So I can pick that up. And I can go into this creepy cave. Find a place to take shelter. Done. Nice, sirs. What are all these question marks? That is a rock. Glad I looked at that. What about... Oh, this is... These are vines. Burnable. Can be cut. Requires tool. Uh, use this. Okay. God damn, it's dark in here. Uh, forward... Okay, what's over here? Caves provide shelter from the climate. Nice. Oh, it has luminous... It has luminescent rocks. And fresh water. Hey, might as well shut up, set up shop here. I've got everything that I need. I've got light. I've got water. I, I think I've, I will have heat eventually when I light this thing. Okay, drink all the water. Um, okay, I've drunk everything that I can. Um, wait, why don't... Why didn't I have... Uh, why don't I have stuff on my... Ah, I have to pick it up. Wait, why didn't that work? Because uh, I want to... Don't I have to combine the torch with, like, the organic material? No? I'm no torch lighting expert, but... Uh, yes, this. Uh, how about I drop it? Drop it. Drop, drop, drop. No, I can't. Oh, it's a cassette player. Why would you have a cassette in a spaceship? Uh, why can't I drop this? LT. Oh, it's, I'm pressing the wrong trigger. That's why. Oops. Uh, okay. RT to craft. No. God. Damn it. Come on. Just do the thing. Do the thing. There you go. Combine it with that. Excellent, sirs. I now have a torch. Nice. Okay, where is this? Oh, this is the left. Scavenge some food. Great. Okay, I now have some food. Can I eat the food? Uh, where are you? That's the one. Plant. Edible. 134 cals. That's not a lot. Versus 1,750. Holy shit. Cans are a hell of a lot better. RT to consume. Cons consume. Consume. There you go. I ate the plant. Probably not the best thing to do, considering I am on a planet. I have no idea. Could be poisonous. Eating indigenous plants would not be the first thing I'd do. But, hey, when you're hungry, you're not you. As as the Snickers to commercial will tell you. Oh, this is conveniently replaced oil. Excellent, sirs. Just put it in. There you go. Cool. All right, I don't need to light you, so I'm going to put you away. There you go. Like that. Oh, wait, I actually have to light it. Okay. Fine tutorial. I'll do what you ask me. Light the torch. Light the... This is a bit overkill to be lighting a torch on a freaking rocket engine. Just don't burn, bur bur burn yourself. Jesus, man. I think I lost some health. God damn it. All right, put you away. Cool. New vet. Explore. Nice, sirs. Act one. Done. Cool. Well, this is the remnants of my ship, but look how beautiful this... Oh, oh. Connection established. Oh. Someone hears me. Hello. Capital ship Opez near Pluto. Yep. In for a status update. Uh, yeah, well, I kind of crashed and uh, I've lost all hope of survival. Relay right before your designated landing time. 
Okay? No, nope. everything is not okay. As they should be. Well, great. I'm so glad you're so happy. Because I definitely ate. I'm alone here on this planet in the goddamn middle of nowhere. No ship, no method of transportation. And what? Is that a windmill? Let's go see, sirs. Ah! Shit! What the hell was that? Did I lose? Oh, come on. That was a piddly drop. My ankles would be fine. But yeah, is that a windmill over there? Oh. That is a windmill. Well, sirs, this planet is inhabited. 100%. That is definitely a man-made structure. But is it man who made it? That's the question. But look at that view, sirs. It is insane. This game looks gorgeous. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm, I'm really happy that I'm playing this game, sirs. So far, it's been, it's been really fun, actually. And I really hope that you, sirs, will enjoy the game as well. Because that introduction was pretty, like, adrenaline-packed. Lots of shit's going on. How's my life? 517. Right, out of 600. It's not too shabby. So, oh. Oh! Okay, well that looks important. But, uh, yeah, so this game, from what I've seen online, is all about, um, it's all about exploration. So it's important that you kind of have a look about where you're going. Because there's always going to be hidden things. So I'm going to head towards that way where the rocket fell. But there's always stuff to explore. Oh, Jesus. This place is dark. Uh, can I have that, please? Thank you. See, sirs. This is what I'm talking about. The game will... Oh. Yeah, that's definitely man-made. Game will always have... <laughs> it's the statues from the Snake Men from Dark Souls. God damn it. They even followed me here. Yeah, the game will always explore you for... Oh, for exploration. Lost artifact. Ruthlessness of the minority. Upgrades all resistance. Oh, yes, please. Okay. Well, if the um, giant windmill in the distance wasn't a big hint enough, we have now found our first alien artifact. Uh, which... I know really what it does. Oh, is that a plant? Oh my god, that is a plant. What the fuck is that plant, though? It has eyeball... Ooh. No, thank you, sirs. Um, no, no, no. This looks a, li a lot nicer, but that... No thanks. Oh, it's getting dark, sirs. The sun is setting. That isn't good. When it's dark, apparently the, the, the temperature plummets. And obviously, it's very hard to see. So, I gotta find shelter, I guess, during the night time. But I really want to discover what fell here. What the hell is that sound? Oh, that, that, that looks important. But I found a cave here. Nights are very cold. Thank you for that. I found some rocks. Nice, sirs. <laughs> I found some rocks. Well, thank you so much, game, for being so generous with the resources you're offering me. Please tell me this is important. This is nothing. This is just an engine. Ah, oh, god damn it. I got myself wet for nothing. Oh, and I can't see. Shit. And now I'm going to freeze because I'm outside and it's very cold at night. And Ah. Uh, whoa. Look. You can literally see the... Oh, what is that? You can literally see the planets move. That is so cool. How many moons does this planet oh, have? Ooh. Thank you. Uh, so that is a beacon. Navigation aid lasts forever. Nice. Okay. Cool. What is this? A cargo manifest. Wilson PDA, which I have. A beacon. I only have one of those. No med packs, no backpacks, and no glue. What? Oh, someone's taken them. If they're not here, then someone's taken them. Yes. I know what to do, Wilson. Jesus. Stretch of Desolation 2. I know what I need to do to get back home, and is apparently to follow this orca. Oh, oh, but uh, we have another alien artifact here. Thank you. Artifacts, so special equipments, uh, da 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 da, stats. Okay. So they upgrade my inventory, space, dive time, movement speed, health, falling damage, and climb resistance. Nice. So a shit ton, really. That's really cool. 
everything can be upgraded depending on how much you explore. Whoa. Find a way into the cave and investigate the sound. Hmm, but I can't seem to get into the cave. Seems to be some debris in the way. Okay, sirs. Well, I think we've done some pretty awesome progress so far in this game, and look at it. It's, it's beautiful. Look at how many, look at the stars up. I wish we could have starry nights like this on Earth right now. Oh god, I am very cold. Alright, uh, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna pause the game here. And yeah, just say that I'm really impressed with this game so far. I think it's uh, a really cool survival game and I can't wait to play some more. Interestingly, actually, at the bottom here, I just noticed that there's two out of 118 secrets. So I think the two, the secrets that they're talking about are the little artifacts that I picked up. Uh, set five out of 513 stories and then it shows your progress. This game is, I think, truly massive. There's lots and lots to do. So I'm really excited to show off more of this game in later episodes in the series. I, I, I'm really hoping to do a really cool uh, survival sci-fi series on the channel. And I think this game is gonna fit this perfectly. So if you so enjoyed this episode and you're excited for what this series has to offer, please don't forget to bestow a like and subscribe to become a sir today. So as always, stay cool, stay classy, and I will see you sirs in the next episode. Wait, why are these guys going back? Wait, why did half the archers suddenly decide to go home? It's nearly dead, come on. Oh, fuck, it's a horde. Run, run. <gasps> no, my crown. No, 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 no.